Weekends are typically a busy time for airports, but the San Luis Obispo County Regional Airport Terminal is quiet. KSBR News reporter Asia Gore joins us live at the airport with more on the impacts of the coronavirus. Good morning, Asia. Good morning, Christina. A flight is scheduled to take off in about five minutes from now. It's the third flight of the day, but this drop off zone here behind me has been pretty quiet throughout the morning and with a decrease in passengers, a limited number of departing flights. We suspended the San Diego service entirely. That was a, a very new flight when all this occurred. It had only been flying for just over two months. When direct service from San Luis Obispo to San Diego was unveiled last September, the sound of eager passengers filled the terminal. Today, the airport is quiet except for this message overhead. Wash your hands often with soap and water. The spread of coronavirus keeping would-be travelers at home. We're seeing between 50 and 100 passengers a day departing, so anywhere from one to maybe as many as 15 on a flight. Slow County Regional Airport Director Kevin Buman says flights are down about 95 percent here and nationwide. Empty terminals mean open skies for Cayucas pilot David Coleman. We came through at an altitude that they never let us go through at. See, it's vacant. It's like there's nobody else up there. As the operator of a small private plane, air traffic controllers often force him to navigate around commercial flights. But these days, it's a straight shot from slow to his Palm Springs property. They're flying us out all over the place to get us out of the way. Now we're the only show they've got. Despite the drop off in air travel, Buman is optimistic the former menu of service destinations will one day return. There was requirements in there for them to maintain their network to a standard that they had in March. And so markets like ours benefit from that because the airlines can't completely abandon anything without approval from Department of Transportation. But flights to San Diego won't start up again until June and direct flights to Portland, which were supposed to launch in June, now suspended until at least October. The San Luis Obispo Airport saw a record 50,000 passengers in the month of December. Just last month in March, that number down by about half. So April is sure to see even fewer passengers than that. Live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. Thank you, Asia. The airport director says no staff have been laid off as a result of the pandemic.